Let's talk about the episode strategy that some of the top podcasters are using. It's all about variety. I'm going to give you a quick analysis of two really popular top of the charts podcasts, which are Prof G with Scott Galloway and Just Be with Bethany Frankel. Do you see the variety here? So nine minutes, one hour, 19 minutes, 57 minutes. And there's four types a week. Frankly, you don't need to be anywhere near the level of success, notoriety, and total downloads that these two have to be successful in podcasting for your business. People think podcasting is an expense in marketing, but it's actually an investment. The way they do the episodes is future thinking, something that you're going to see more and more people doing. First, let's talk about Prof G Pod with Scott Galloway. Now, Scott Galloway is a very influential, brilliant content creator. He's written books like The Algebra of Happiness, and he's a best-selling author, professor, entrepreneur. So Prof G Pod does a lot of different types of episodes. I think this is something to aspire to if you have time to do a bunch of different things. But look, on Mondays, he has an episode type called Prof G Markets. This breaks down what's moving the capital markets. He teaches basics of financial literacy so you can build economic security. So an example episode title of the Monday variety, the Prof G Markets, would be Is Boeing a Buy? AI Picks and Shovels and Scott's Ketamine Trip. So he'll bring in something fun from his life. He did ketamine. It didn't go well. It's like an Elon situation, too. It's entertaining, delightful, fun commentary, but you learn something every time. So Prof G Markets on Mondays about an hour long. Then on Wednesdays, he does office hours. An example episode of office hours would be the cyber attack on United Health, investing in music royalties, and Scott's tips for giving a compelling presentation. That's 19 minutes. So you can see also the colored icons. This visually differentiates for somebody on Spotify. Oh, this is the blue one. This is the yellow one. Yellow is office hours. This office hours was 27 minutes from March 13th called The Creator Economy Planning Your Exit Strategy as a Business Owner and Scott's Sources of Inspiration. So this is important when you're doing different types of episodes is to visually change the podcast logo or graphic for that particular episode to differentiate. Bethany does this too, and I'll get to her in a second. Now he's doing Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. That's four different types of episodes. Okay, he does get paid for this podcast, and these are monetized podcasts. On Thursdays, he has a conversation with a blue flame thinker in the innovation economy. Example from a recent episode of that variety would be conversation with Verity Harding. Are we in an AI arms race? 57 minutes. And then you also have this is interesting. On Saturdays, he has an actor named George Hahn read No Mercy, No Malice, which is Scott's Webby Award winning newsletter. And this is a gimme. I love when people do sort of bonus content that's based on something they've already done. In this case, it's a newsletter that he already has written and some other voices reading it. Another thing that makes a podcast compelling or interesting is to vary the voices. If you have different voices, especially different gender voices that can come on, maybe guest host or pinch hit or have an actor reading this on Saturdays, wonderful. It gives variety to the listener. The No Mercy, No Malice, March 16th was nine minutes. Do you see the variety here? So nine minutes, one hour, 19 minutes, 57 minutes. And there's four types a week. Pretty cool. And it's working for him. Now, I'm not saying that you need to do four episode types. It's unlikely that you have the bandwidth for that if you're just doing a podcast as part of your content marketing, like you're not a full-time podcaster. But let me show you what Bethany Frankel does. And this is also wildly successful. So Just Be is the number one podcast in the society and culture category. And she launched this in 2020. That's four years ago. None of this happens overnight. Podcasting is a long game. You're probably not going to see traction for at least 18 months on any podcast. Plus, let me tell you this. This might shock you. Buzzsprout data suggests that a top 25% podcast will have 120 downloads in the first seven days after the episode is published. A top 5% podcast will have 1120. A top 1% 1 will have just under 5,000 downloads in that first week. So it, these are top of the charts because they have thousands of subscribers and downloads. But podcast stats are different from anything else. You shouldn't be judging podcast success based on metrics that may be more accessible to your vocabulary of marketing KPIs like views on YouTube, downloads, subscribers. Podcasting comes with a whole different set of KPIs, essentially. And you judge it a lot less harshly. I mean, look at these numbers. You're in the top 25% with 120 downloads. Why is that? 
although there are millions, roughly two to three million podcasts out there, most of them are not active. Most of them don't have that many subscribers, but it takes a long time to get to the point where you are a Bethany or a Prof G. And frankly, you don't need to be anywhere near the level of success and notoriety and total downloads that these two have to be successful in podcasting for your business. A lot of the time, I look at it this way. People think podcasting is an expense in marketing, but it's actually an investment. Something to keep in mind, if you know your LTV lifetime value of a client or a customer, let's say the LTV is $150,000. So over an average customer's lifetime, they spend 150K with you. How much does it cost you to produce, market, just do the whole podcast a year? Say you spend 100K on it. If you get one client ultimately from it, or that podcast moves somebody who is about to hire you and they were on the fence, they're like, oh, this podcast is pretty great. They're smart. I like the way they think and speak. I like that they're on top of it. That makes them hire you, uh, paid for itself, investment worthwhile. All right, back to Bethany Frankel. Totally different type of subject matter than Scott Galloway, who's leaning more business, but Bethany touches on business too. You can listen for the gossip, but you're always getting business and marketing insights as well. I noticed that Bethany was doing this years ago. Of course, trailblazer, just like always, just like skinny girl, blazed a trail in the liquor category. So she has a couple episode types, fewer than Scott, but check it out. These are the fun ones, the Just Be Rants. Now, she publishes these twice a week, sometimes more. Like, if you look here, Just Be Rant came out March 19th, 2021, 20, and 22. 18 minutes, 15 minutes, 16 minutes. Here's some episode titles. The Just Be Rant, The Roar, Taylor Swift Possesses a Power Like One We've Never Seen. That was March 21. March 20th, Just Be Rant, We Are Women. There's other ones, Just Be Rant, Princess Problems, March 15th, 33 minutes. So they'll be a little longer, but... Keep in mind, Bethany has ads. They're dynamically inserted by iHeart. There's at least two or three mid-rolls per episode. You have to fast forward like two minutes. They're annoying, but it's a monetized show. And people love iHeart. Like Bethany's always said iHeart's a great company to work with. She's even talked on the show about past podcast studios that were difficult to work with. She lost money on the show the first year. But she's like, this is the trend. And Don Lemon talked about this on Pivot with Kara and Scott. Don Lemon, after he did the interview with Elon, he said, and he used to be like old school broadcast television news talent. And he's like, I'm drinking the Kool-Aid of this new thing, which is you have to become an entrepreneur and you have to become your own studio. That's what Bethany has done. Look at her YouTube channel. Look at her podcast. She's not getting paid by Bravo anymore. She has multiple businesses, multiple revenue streams. The podcast she knew was an investment, even though it cost her money the first year to do it. She had to pay for her own production. And now it's number one in the society and culture category. So back to the types of episodes. Sometimes she does Mommy and Me, where she has her daughter on, 33 minutes. But wait for it. She does interviews, too. These will be about an hour long. She's had on Hillary Clinton, Mark Cuban, Dave Portnoy. She's had on all kinds of guests. There's another one called Unfluenced. Now, this is really cool, but there aren't as many, so I have to scroll down to get to it. Here we go. February 5th, Just Be Unfluenced, Christina Kirkman. This is when she'll do something about the beauty industry. And this is what propelled Bethany to a new type of fame, which was she became an accidental beauty influencer on TikTok in pandemic times. Unfluenced is the opposite of influenced. So she'll have on founders, usually women, but sometimes it'll be a dermatologist, a doctor, a man, whoever. And they talk about something in the skincare and beauty mostly. And it'll be women that have founded makeup brands or skincare, things like that. So then she used to do rewives, but she stopped doing that. And she made a whole announcement about why she doesn't want to talk about the housewives anymore. It's just not aligned with her values. But those were interesting episodes too. And she would have on a housewife from, you know, a different franchise. There's a huge market for that. It's a cultural phenomenon. So these are two really popular podcasts and they're doing three to four episode types. Think about this. Are you only doing one type of thing, which is always a 30 minute interview? Bonus content, five minute rant, pop in on Fridays with tip of the week, whatever. Just, you know, think about new content themes that you could do. So what Prof G and Bethany are doing really well to sum this up is they have different types of episodes, which have a different content style and a different length. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure that you thumb it up, rate, review, subscribe, all the podcast info, links, past episodes, playlist of the top most popular episodes are at emilybender.com slash podcast. Talk with you next time.